Hello, this is David and welcome to Make Me Proud, the video series sharing the story of my campaign to become a better sprint swimmer. And today I'm at the Plymouth Life Centre because I've been invited down by none other than Sonny Trigg, AKA the swimsuit guy for some coaching. I'm super excited to see what I'm gonna learn through these coaching sessions because remember, Sonny has uh, coached some real top tier, uh, top tier swimmers, including uh, Olympic athletes. So if you would give this video a like, I'd very much appreciate it. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page so that you know of whenever I upload any new videos. You Make Me Proud episodes come out every Sunday evening, but otherwise without any further ado, let's dive right in to today's episode. So in this second video of this three part mini series, I'm going to be explaining what Sonny taught me with regards to butterfly, or more specifically, the 50 meters butterfly. And so there are three key things that Sonny taught me in this regard. Two to do with the actual stroke of when you're swimming down the length, and then the third point, which is about turns. So starting with the two points regarding the stroke, so the first one is that when you're actually conducting a stroke, when, you've, when you're at this point in the stroke where you've got both arms right above your head, you're about to initiate the pull, you want your head and chest down as far as possible. So you're really bending into that pull. It's something that's really difficult and requires quite a lot of flexibility and mobility, but it's just something that, you know, when I tried it for the first time, really helped me to get into that rhythm and also to help propel me a little bit faster down the water, uh, down the length as well, making things just that little bit easier. So in order to demonstrate this to me slash illustrate it to me, uh, Sonny showed me a video of Michael Phelps where he paused it, it right in the freeze frame where he's uh yeah where he's right in that position where he's just about to initiate the pull and he's got his head and his chest really far down in comparison to his arms quite so much flexibility michael phelps is um his his you know his body is absolutely extraordinary in this regard but it was just it was just so powerful to illustrate what Sonny meant with regards to this. And then naturally when I was attempting it myself, there was no way that I could get myself into that position. Uh, my arms, my back just don't have that level of flexibility. But then again, I think it's only Michael Phelps that has that level of flexibility. But yeah, this was the first thing to really get your head and chest down uh, when initiating that pull. So the second thing that Sonny taught me was with regards to the actual rhythm of the stroke. And if you look at my uh, videos from Europeans, my 50 meters fly or any other 50 fly race that uh, I've competed in for that matter, the best one, best time was Nash Masters Nationals back in October, 2023. I just don't have that great rhythm in that regard. And my stroke, look an awful lot clunky. Sometimes the speed and the power that I use with my arms save me a little bit. However, I can make things a whole lot easier for myself if I could just make that rhythm a whole lot more smoother. It would mean uh, reducing the amount of drag that I experience and just bouncing along the top of the water instead of fly, which just really feels you know, so energy draining. It takes so much of my energy. And that's the reason why ultimately I only ever complete compete in in 50 meters fly because once I finish that 50 meters then you know I've, I've got little left in the tank for um, anything further <laughs> when as, as far as butterfly is concerned so here ultimately uh, how Sunny taught me that you want to get your rhythm is first you're going to you know well again utilizing that that head and chest down is when you start to initiate the pull I'm a little bit high up here so you can't see what I'm doing with my hands but once you initiate with the pull, that's the point where you want to take your first kick. And then once you've finished the, the pull phase of the stroke, so the actual underwater pull, 
uh, that's also when you want to do your second kick in sort of as the cycle continues. So the arms come back round, you initiate the pull, and that's when you kick. You get your, you get through the pull, then you kick again to support the recovery. So I've been playing around with this a little bit more in training after uh, the 50 fly session that I had with Sunny, and it's difficult. Um, I'm finding it really difficult to get into that rhythm. Um, I can do it slowly. I can sort of do it when I'm doing it in drill and I can do it when I'm wearing fins, but really doing it at speed is um, really difficult, something that I'm finding difficult to get right. And so something that I've, that I've really got to work on, but I know that if I'm able to get that rhythm at speed, then my butterfly is gonna become a whole lot more smooth it's I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start flying through the water because it would just be a whole lot easier but yeah so to to recap on that it's initiate the pull kick finish the pull kick recovery and the cycle starts round and round so that's where you want to be with regards to getting a good rhythm on the butterfly and the sort of the way i think um, or, or sort of i've noticed when watching people that are really good at butterfly um, Olympians and you know people competing at the world championships included is that you know they sort of go under and their and their bum comes up at the surface you know it's sort of very undulatory undulating don't know the word um, but yeah it's, it's you know they sort of their bum bounces up as they initiate and and that for me you know whenever watching those and I see that you know, the, it, it invariably there's a smooth butterfly movement in that regard. So, so that's that's sort of um, what I look for. Slash, I think I am trying to replicate in that regard. So then, moving on to the final part, which is turns. <laughs> I find it uh, a little bit weird uh, uh, butterfly turns because I've never actually had it explained to me how to do one properly before. Uh, so, you know, all of my butterfly turns have been absolutely naff in, in every competition that I've done. Whenever someone's filmed me and they're watching my 50 fly, the comment at the turn is always, ooh, that's not a very good turn and ooh, could have done better with that turn. But the fact of the matter is, is that I've just never had it explained to me what to do with my hands, what to do uh, with anything into the turn it's always I've always come on turned and then try to you know sort of pull myself in and then you know kick off and just do things as quickly as possible slash what I felt worked best so it was actually really beneficial for me uh, to, to have this explained to me and you know I'm actually it, it feels so weird now that just so much clarity when, when you actually know what you're doing with the technique uh, then um, you know it, it, it all starts falling into place so to actually explain that rather than just going on about how great it is that I now know how to do it uh, first off one thing that Sunny said to me is that I want to glide a bit more into the turn one thing that I typically do on the turn is that if I'm close to the wall I will always do a second half stroke which just means you lose so much um, you know so much time it's just wasteful of energy as well and instead you know if I'm not quite there then glide into the turn as opposed to doing another weird half thing because you might end up like this and it, it's just you know you can end up in all sorts of awkward positions and not doing things very well um, uh, an example of it from from my swimming career is is the 50 flight Europeans I didn't you know my turn was was awful um, in, in terms of actually spotting the wall. Um, and yeah, just, I just didn't do very well in that regard. Uh, however, at Masters Nationals, I did very well in, this, in, in said regard. And, you know, I, I, I swam about 0.4 seconds quicker at Masters Nationals. So it just goes to show that actually hitting the wall right, um, you know, pays massive dividends. Um, at Europeans, I managed to spot the wall down the second 25. So finished well, I managed to nab the heat victory and similarly at Masters Nationals as well, I spotted the wall well, but at Europeans, the big difference was the turn. And we've got someone here joining us who doesn't want to miss out on being in this week's video. Um, but then moving on to actually how you perform the tumble turn. So you've now touched the, you've now touched the wall with both hands. 
you then want to pull away, pull the elbow into your body with the arm uh, that's going to do the turning in the direction that you want to do the turn. And then you want to come over and almost hit your head as you are, as you, as you're about to push off the wall. And then you're sort of moving your arms into that nice streamlined position and then push off the wall and you're into your underwater fly kick to start the next length down again. You know, it feels quite natural. Um, I didn't have any difficulty in implementing this when, when Sonny told me and it, and it almost just felt like the right, just the right thing to do. And it was so weird that I hadn't been doing it before. Um, but the advantage of this is, is that when you, when you sort of pull your arm into your body to initiate that turn, it brings your knees up into the wall to, to get into that position ready to kick off. And then here you just you're just taking the most direct route to get into the streamlined position. Well, turn your body around and get back into that streamlined position. So yeah, it, it works very well. Um, yeah, and and having having watched uh, having watched it at the World Aquatics Championships, the World Swimming Championships. Um, yeah, it's 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 blindingly obvious uh, now. They they all do it and. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's. I can't wait to actually compete in a fly race uh, when I'm actually able to do this and, and just see how much it, it affects my 50 metres fly time. Haven't got a short course gala uh, for quite a while at this point in time, so I think it's something that I'm going to have to be patient with. I've got a few long course galas coming up, but obviously in a 50 fly uh, long course, you don't turn. So um, yeah, one, one that I'm going to have to be patient with to... Uh, reap the benefits of but nonetheless again another incredibly beneficial lesson with Sonny um, yeah just haven't really previously been taught how to do butterfly it's all been watching watching other people try to do it and try to replicate it myself so I've, I've never really had a, a sort of a shortcut someone actually tell it and explain it to me um, I think the only time I would have ever had that was when I was swimming in club at below the below the age of eleven, and when I moved to secondary school, um, and I don't think that I really got that level of in depth uh, detail as to how to how to do fly. It was just more you know try and do fly as best as you can at that age. So this was an incredibly beneficial session, one that was probably a um, you know a, a long time coming. One that I probably should have had ages and ages ago given um that the 50 fly is is part of my is part of my repertoire and and sort of my big three main events um but yeah absolutely enjoyed the session you know go and check out Sonny's coaching programs he's he's absolutely incredible um in that regard you know it's not just boring drudging up the pool doing doing grunt work he he really makes the sessions um diverse different you know, lots of different exercises to focus on and just makes the sessions all the more enjoyable. His his sort of mantra is focusing on quantity as opposed to quality rather as opposed to quantity. Nearly got that one wrong. Um and and yeah it's it's just a philosophy that, that I just can totally get on board with and and thoroughly enjoy and you know I thoroughly enjoy undertaking Sonny's programs so that is it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've taken away something for yourself to try with your uh, butterfly uh, specifically if you compete 50 meters butterfly uh, if you do anything longer than that then you probably already know this stuff and you're better than me at butterfly anyway but otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I've been David Westcoff and I'll see you again next time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page so that you know of whenever I upload any new videos. Similarly, who else might enjoy this video? Please share in the swimming fun by either tagging them in the comments below or clicking on the share button. Otherwise, check out westcoff.com.